Yes. Yeah. Good evening, one. So before I start, can everyone please confirm that my voice is clear, whether the screen is visible or not? Yes. Thank you. Yes. So I was discussing about Azure Data Engineer, right? So differences between this on-premises, right? So we need to maintain all the infrastructure, database, purchasing the license, installation of database server. So we need to maintain separate hardware team, operating system team, networking team, security team, and database administrators. But in the case of in the cloud, but here everything in the cloud premises, we don't need to maintain all this. So data engineers, with the help of all this, they work on data and make it structured. Mainly their work is for preparing data, cleansing data, transforming data, processing data. They're responsible for smooth data flow from the source to the destination, right? Data scientists, strategists for the future, analyze the data, identifying the patterns, recommendations for the future, Data analyst summarizes the past, analyzes the data, summarizes the data of the past, visualizing the data, right? More than 80% of the data analysis work is done by data engineers. All the groundwork for data scientists is done by data analysts. For data scientists and analysts is done by data engineers. So what are the sources of the data? What is the format of the data? And how to transform the data? What is the destination of the data? Is which involves in data engineering, right? Role of Azure Data Engineer, right? Yes. Designing the entire data flow architecture, creating a data warehouse for the storage of analytical data. ETL is one of the key tasks. They need to extract data from multiple sources, transform it in a structured format, and then load into the data, the company's storage service. Data monitoring whether the detail is performed perfectly at each step and data security is also right, whether there should not be any data leakages or exposures, collaboration and communications, communicate with the business team and check what are the requirement of the data and also communication with the data scientists. Analytics, they need to have strong analytic knowledge and also like something process need to be automated which require minimal human intervention right yes so i was discussing about data engineering products azure sql azure data lake azure synapse azure data factory azure data bricks azure cosmos db azure streaming and azure key Vault. so azure sql right i was saying it is a cloud rdbms database for microsoft is for OLDP operations, it is not for data warehouse. Data lake, distributed file system with unlimited data storage in the cloud. The repository of large varieties of structured and structured and the semi-structured data. Every cloud, every cloud data provides some benefits. Supports all varieties of data, right? Yeah. Structured data, unstructured and semi-structured. Supports all formats of data like txt, .csv, .zip format, ORC format, parquet format. So I'm expecting a cloud or DBMS, the two used for data warehouse. That two I'm expecting parallel processing. There is nothing but Azure Synapse Analytics. Okay. Azure Synapse. We have a database called Azure, we have a database called Azure Synapse SQL Pool DB. Azure SQL Pool DB, right? Yes. That is Synapse DB. It's a cloud RDBMS for data warehouse. It's a cloud data warehouse of Azure for analytics, for parallel processing. So when to go for Azure Data Lake, when to go for Azure Synapse. The data is structured for Azure Synapse. If data is unstructured and semi-structured, go for data like that. It's talking about this Azure Data Factory. It's a cloud-based ETL of Microsoft. 
The ADF is an integration service. It creates data flows and data movement and transformation. OLTP set one side, data warehouse at the other side. Between these two, we see ADF, right? It is an integration between the OLTP systems and data warehouse system. Yes. ADF doesn't come within this OLTP or this warehouse systems. It is an integration service between this OLTP systems and this data warehouse systems, right? Yes. We need to bring these transactions, uh, transactions captured at OLTP. We need to bring the transactions into warehouse. Generally, we use ETL. Okay. By using these ETL tools, Informatica, Data Stage Talent, all these are on-premises ETL tools. So, but I'm expecting I need a ETL on the cloud. That is what ADF. We can connect with cloud databases, non-cloud databases, non-SQL databases. Using ADF, we can extract data and pump the data into the data lake or then perform transformations. It is ETL, but our working style is ELT, extract, load, transform. So ETL for small data volumes, I said, ELT for huge data volumes. So just summarizing that Azure SQL, Cloud RDBMS only for OLTP operations, not for data warehouse, not for analytics, not for data process, not for batch processing, right? So Azure Snaps, it's a Cloud RDBMS for data warehouse, for analytics, for batch processing, right? Yes. And for parallel processing, Azure Data Lake. Cloud distributed DFS, right? It's a file system for unlimited data storage. Parallel processing it's for parallel processing. And here, ADF, Cloud ETL, the data integration service. So I was talking about Databricks in the last class. Apache is Spark based data analytics platform. What is Databricks means? Provides. It's going to provide Spark cluster in the cloud. Spark cluster, what is Spark? It is a very high-speed execution model to process huge data, that is big data. Spark 100 times faster than normal disk processing. There's a, Spark is in-memory computation. Main features in-memory computation, supports massive MP, that is MPP, massive parallel process, lazy evaluated. Okay. Observe. Cluster as a spark cluster means group of systems connected in a network. Data is distributed across multiple systems and processed by multiple systems, right? Pad only. It, pro it provides a cluster, right? Okay, assume, example. Assume we have 500 nodes. Assume we have 500 nodes. 500 nodes, 500 systems, right? And in a network. This 500 nodes, this 500 nodes means this systems or CPUs. This 500 nodes cluster, we say. One second. Assume we have 500 nodes. This 500 nodes cluster is worthy. Processing. 2 TB of data. This 500 nodes cluster is worthy processing 2 TB of data, 2 TB of data at a time. Assume
it can process 2 TB of data at a time. This 500 nodes cluster, right? Tomorrow, your data volume increased. Tomorrow, your data volume Tomorrow, your data volume increased. If same cluster used, if same cluster is used, speed goes down. Speed goes down. Even though if your data, why speed goes down? Because your data volume increased. So what do you do? You need to scale up the cluster. So you need to scale up. By adding new nodes. By adding new nodes. New nodes means 100 new nodes. 100 nodes added. So you need to scale up. By adding new nodes. 100 nodes added. After two months, again, hundred nodes. You need to scale up the cluster by adding hundred nodes, hundred nodes. After two months, again, hundred nodes added. Every time, observe here, every time, scaling up the physical data center, physical data center is a complex task, complex task. Previously, data volume increased by, previously data volume increased by small amount. Previously, data volume increased by small amount, but today, Previously, data volume increased by small amount, but today, data volume increased by large amount. Every time scaling up physical data center is a complex task. Previously, data volume increased by small amount, but today, data volume increased by large amount. So that's why I need same cluster. I need same cluster in the cloud. I need same cluster in the cloud and that too with auto scaling capability with auto scaling auto scaling capability. I need the same cluster in the cloud with auto scaling feature right? Who is going to provide it? Who is providing this? The data bricks. Who is providing this? Data bricks. Databricks. What is Databricks? Who is providing this? Databricks. Databricks, right? Yes. Spark Cloud Cluster. Spark Cloud Cluster. 
with auto scaling feature with auto scaling feature so i'm talking about normal data bricks not azure data bricks for example observe, observe this today today my data load requires 100 nodes requires 100 nodes tomorrow data volume increased it has to be extended it has to be extended to 200 automatically today my data load requires 100 nodes tomorrow data volume increase it has to be extended to 200 automatically after processing is completed again again it has to revert back it has to revert back 200 nodes only 200 it means auto scaling again after execution finish coming back 200 nodes This is general data bricks, whatever I'm talking about. This is general data bricks. This is general data bricks. It cannot interact. It cannot interact with all my, it cannot interact with all my Azure storage services. It cannot interact with all my Azure storage services. In Azure storage services are Azure SQL, Azure Data Lake, Azure Synapse, So regular data bricks, regular data bricks is not compatible. Azure services. That's why Microsoft Databricks collaboratively launched a new product. Azure Databricks. Azure Data Bricks, ADB, so talking about this Azure Data Bricks, The Spark cluster with auto scaling and 
compatible all azure storage services so it is a spark cluster with auto scaling and compatible with all azure data storage services adb can read data from a data lake can read data from a data lake from azure sql from Cosmos DB. Synapse DB. For normal data bricks. So we need to do a lot of other settings we need to call different apis so here uh, databricks not only available but also available for AWS and for Google. In Databricks, who is processing the data? Who is processing the data? Spark, who is processing the data Spark? You can say Azure Databricks, right? It's in the Azure Databricks. Spark is the execution weapon and you are the developer to provide instructions to process the data in the form of coding and to perform complex transformation. So here, ADB with PySpark, right? Here, I'm going to discuss about ADB with PySpark. PySpark means like Python plus a Spark. Python API to use a Spark. Python API to use a Spark. So even not only the Spark implemented with Python, like Scala, Java, other also, but in most Databricks, in most of the Databricks applications, PySpark. PySpark is the majority of the code. is the majority of the code. Currently, most of the projects are available in PySpark. As I was saying, right, currently, industry taking two separate developers, two separate developers. One is a Databricks.
separate developer. For EDF, separate developer. Okay, but you need to have, but in the coming days, you need to have required the knowledge of both. Initially, you can get in right with the company with any of this. So, yesterday I was briefing you about ADF, I was briefing, briefing you about ADB today, right? So, if you see ADF and ADB, ADF, Azure Data Bricks. In ADF, we have two versions. ADF version 1, ADF version 1, ADF version 2, ADF version 1, ADF version 2. In version 2 especially, in ADF version 2, in version 2 especially, right? We have concept to call we have concept to call data flows. We have concept to call data flows. Generally data flows data flows, right? Used to perform transformations. Used to perform transformations. Yes. But in version two, I will create. I will create this data flows. I will create this data flows right without writing any code. Without writing any code. So here just drag and drop, drag and drop, and we do some configurations. Simply ADF, we can say zero coding ETL tool. But when data flows are submitted, I said we have what data flows. When data flows are submitted, They are internally, they are internally converted into Databricks job. They are internally converted into Databricks jobs. Here, I no need to write. Any Databricks code. Here I don't need to write any data bricks code. Execution is not done by ADF. Execution is not done by ADF. Execution done by data bricks. Done by data bricks. You may ask. 
so here internally the data flows we are defining the data flows in adf internally the data flows are converted into data bricks job and they are executed we are not worried about the code we don't need to write the code internally everything it takes there you may ask oh, then why if everything taken care internally they are converted when you are not writing any data bricks when why again why again separate developer separated developer required data bricks the saying why again separate developer required for data bricks if everything it is done internally we don't need to write any code automatically if it is taking care why again separate developer required for data bricks means to develop some custom functionalities We require Databricks developer. Ninety nine percent if the data is structured. All my structured operations. can be done by ADF. Nineteen percent if the data is structured. All my structured operations can be done by ADF. But still, ADF has a limitation. If data is unstructured, ADF cannot process. ADF data flows. Cannot transform. Cannot transform. If data is unstructured okay so okay so if the data is a if ADF, the ADF cannot transform the data, if data is unstructured. So we require some special kind of libraries. We require some special kind of, some special kind of libraries. Directly, we cannot define them into data flows. Directly, we cannot define into our data flows. At that time, we require, at that time, we require data bricks developer. At that time, we require data bricks developer. So, if you want to work with the graph kind of data, graph data, this area of data flows cannot work with that or streaming kind of data or graph graph data, right? Such kind of things it cannot work. You have got one way graph, two way graphs, different types of graphs, such graph data, right? So, using data bricks, we are going to do that. But in area of data flows right it, they cannot handle it in some you can say like uh, processing graph data 
processing graph data. Processing graph data with special with uh, SQL queries with SQL queries is not possible here. Processing graph data with SQL queries is not possible. We need some special graph algorithms. We need some special graph algorithms. At that time, at that time, ADF will not help. ADF will not help you. Designing the data flow. Designing the data flow. At that time, we require Databricks developer. Who develops the complex logics? Who develops the complex logics? So there should be a coordination between this ADF and ADB developer. Suppose if the data is totally structured, data is totally BI related, you want to analyze the data, you want to perform different transformations, no need to go for data bricks. ADF data flows can perform 90% of our 99% of the operations can be done without going for data bricks. Right. So just a difference between this ADF and ADF. We know we are not going to write any code it zero coding ETL. Looks very simple. We will define many data flows, which includes many transformations. Internally, data bricks job executes. So we no need to write any code. Yes. Azure Cosmos DB. I was saying like Azure Cosmos DB. It is a cloud-based NoSQL database. No SQL means no, not only SQL, no SQL. No SQL, right? Not only SQL. So here, okay, why we go for NoSQL, right? What RTBPs cannot do? What databases cannot do? Why we are going for NoSQL databases means in RDBMS, for example, in normal databases, we create table. We define some structure, schema. So every time I got a new column, for every, so for example, every time I need to add a new column, I need to keep on altering the table schema. I need to keep on altering the schemas. Today I got five columns. After one week, one more extra column. I need to alter the table schema. Again, after one week, one more column to be added. Every week, a new product, a new column to be added every time I need to alter. But in the case of NoSQL, the schema-less behavior, no schema, right? A record to record any number of fields. My first record with three fields, second record with five fields, third record with 10 fields. Record to record different number of fields can be maintained. Just like uh, Amazon, if you take, if you're maintaining a table, Amazon product one book has got four fields, like book author. Uh, hi, Vijay. Yes. I have one question regarding the EDF you have said. Uh, there is no coding and uh, we have to transform. Uh, we can transform all. In only if the data is structured, right? Your voice is disturbing. Not, it's not clear. Can you repeat your query again? Hello? Uh, as you said, uh, if the data is structured only, we can work on it, right? Hmm. Uh, if the data 
uh, everyone uh, are you able to hear the query i am what lot of disturbance only for me or yeah? can anyone please repeat the query hello hello vijay yeah yeah your voice is sorry good. sorry 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 uh, i was angry so my voice was breaking so my question is uh, if the data is structured when uh, and meaning we are going to use the ef or that we are going to use adb if the data is unstructured right hmm yes but then how many transform how many transformations are there in adf we have got many different transformations available all that you are that you see in etl right all those kind of yes, yes. so we only we, have to drag and drop right only we need to drag and drop source to sync uh, source to sync means uh, target from there in the middle you will be having different transformations means directly from the source to sync as it is not at all instead of copying as it is you perform some transformations merging like union um select okay. transformation union transformations exist transformation lookup transformation is the same like uh, lookup uh, and source poly for expression like uh, informatica is it so it's almost similar to those similar to those got it so okay. see Thank one you. thing it's a cloud etl yes. just previously you worked with that. previously you worked with that now it is you are working with cloud etl right so uh, actually be... i am i didn't work on informatica i am Work as a junior data scientist earlier. But uh, what uh, Yasin, right? Your voice is too disturbing. Yeah. I think some uh, network. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here is uh, there is function is going on. They have started moving. Yeah. So uh, so too, too disturbance. So not uh, you. You won't write it. Area is be totally easy. Uh, it looks totally drag and drop. And uh, from where we need to bring the data from the source and the sync, we need to write the data sync. We have got even source is a kind of transformation. Even sync is a kind of transformation. In this, we are in between these two, right? Many different transformations we will be. So all this will be configuring within a data flow, right? And data flow will be kept as one of the activity within the pipeline, and you will run the pipeline. Right? So it looks very simple. We don't need to write any code. So even uh, even for data flow, right? Even we require this cluster is required, but internally. It enables the Spark cluster and executes with the default number of nodes. Spark cluster is going to run internally. We don't need to do all these things, all the things right related to this data breaks or Spark related. Any code we don't need to write. Everything taken care by itself. Okay. It looks very simple and easy. That's what I was saying. Right? Initially, if you want to go to the companies, the area of developer, you can, I'm not saying you can need to compile and run all the things. So ADF developer, you can go as an ADP developer, as a data engineer, getting the knowledge of both, everything you can. Fine. Understood, right? So in this step-by-step, uh, -step, everything will be learning in brief about this. Uh, first, my discussion is going to be on ADF. Next, my discussion in Azure data, that is uh, Databricks with the PySpark. The PySpark, uh, whatever that uh, the data frames and different other functionalities, right? In, important functionalities of this PySpark, everything I'll be dealing with. Later, I'll come back to the Synapse Analytics, right? Yes. So all these things in, in this, and apart from this, I'll be giving you the knowledge about that in the other products, right? Like uh, SQL, Azure SQL, Data Lake, this uh, Cosmos DB, all these things, right? You'll be getting the knowledge about all those things. Uh, uh, Vijay, is, uh, this is mandatory, right? Because for ADF and uh, Databricks, we have to uh, take data from SQL DB or from any other source. We have to import in Gen2, right? From definitely, source to Gen2, then we have to do that. Definitely, you will be interacting with this all the storage services. Definitely, you are supposed to interact with all the services. So if you want files, you want to go for data like tables uh, or you want to like sql tables so you need to go for azure sql or even synapse db you need to interact with these things you need to have so that uh, during this uh, task will be i'll be briefing you about all these things first practically i'll be showing you how to create all these instances for all these things for azure sql for synapse and uh, for Azure Data Lake and for all these things and how we can perform all these operations step by step. 
everything with clear notes i'll be providing you but we'll be doing all the things practically right and all the sessions will be interactive sessions i said you'll be responding right yes so So I'll already job market of Azure Data Engineer with great demand for Azure Data Engineer. You can just check in this Google, right? Lot of jobs for this AD, ADV developer, especially AD and AD Databricks developer, right? And the two pies park has got great demand, right? So you'll be getting, uh, even if you miss any session, you'll be getting the live sessions of each and every video. Every session video you'll be getting immediately from tomorrow onwards. So as, I, as said by this Durga software, from tomorrow the link will be changing. You are supposed to get enrolled. So from tomorrow onwards, daily, you'll be getting that videos to your Google Drive. Notes daily daily or every alternate days, you'll be getting the notes to your email. And a WhatsApp group will be created tomorrow, and everyone will be added to the WhatsApp group. Yes, you'll get the soft copy, you need soft copy of the class notes of each and every transformations we do. Assignments and tasks will be provided. Based if you're working on that, you will come to know right what exactly and a previously asked interview Which is the, the recordings will be for a lifetime right see okay in this uh, as per this uh, norms of this durga software right? any technology or any course if you are taking they will provide for six months later if you want you can just talk to them and just you can extend it got so, it and uh, yeah. one more question yesterday i asked regarding you that I have three years of experience. I want to showcase three years of experience as a Azure Data Engineer only. Is it possible you can help us in that or in projects? So which we have to showcase in your resume and that thing. Yes, definitely. Right? Because uh, because uh, the what I want is that thing is more important for me. So that's what, right? We can just check that uh, course content in depth in, in brief. We'll be discussing all these things, right? With many working examples. Okay. Vijay, just give me two to three minutes uh, here is noise. I will learn. What? Eh? Okay. So these are the things that are offering rights. You can just check the course content in the chart, right? You can see in the chart, a big message is given by the Durga software, right? You can see the contact details of that online team. If, you, if anything, right? The contact details of the online team, you can see like uh, three contact details they have provided and the payment details they have provided. And uh, one thing, uh, if you're done with the payment, don't forget to share the screenshot of your payment to the mail ID provided. Most of the students tomorrow, to get the link for the tomorrow session, right? You are supposed to send the screenshot of your payment to this uh, Durga Soft Online. They provided a mail ID, right? To that mail ID, you need to provide. Then only you will be getting the link for tomorrow session, right? And you can see the course content of that entire Azure Data Engineering and ADF. And if anyone missed yesterday's session, you can see yesterday's and day before session, right? You can see in the YouTube, right? The link is given here. Okay, so from tomorrow, yes, that you will get a new link to your mail IDs. So get enrolled and uh, any other queries, right? All the sessions. Sir, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Hello? Vijay, can yeah, I get ahead. your number, sir? I want to talk to you. They will arrange a call, right? They will arrange a call. So from tomorrow, you can get my number, right? Because in a WhatsApp, you can get Today, actually, as per that, uh, if you have no, got no, any... I just... Okay. Hello? Yes, yes. They will arrange it. Just you take that contact actually, details. Actually, Vijay. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, no, I just have some few queries. I want you to connect you on separate. So, is it possible for you? Oh, just for fine. No, 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 just uh, the contact details is there, right? Specified by the Durga soft. Call them, just uh, they will connect to me. They will connect to me, right? You can talk to me. Uh, no, they are saying like uh, they are only talking to us uh, regarding they don't know technical clarity and what we are asking. They don't know. You, you, just, are you, just, you just say that I, I want to talk to Mr. Vijay, sir. They will connect a call to me. 
Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. If there is any email, uh, if you have an email, uh, just share your, your email so I can uh, send my queries to your email. In your personal email. Okay. As per the norms of Durga Soft, right? If I am giving my number, it, they think like I'm doing a, some kind of business with the students directly. So that's why I'm not able mm -hmm. to provide. Once you got enrolled, then I, I doesn't have any problem with that. That's the reason. From tomorrow onwards, directly I am creating the WhatsApp group. Directly you can contact with me through anything. But uh, as of now, you of can course. just call to that uh, uh, because of the contact details. Immediately they'll arrange a call. Yes, 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 we And uh, I have connected with Naresh IT also. They are also providing the same. But uh, they have openly said, like, uh, we will provide you three years of experience with this course uh, in two months, and we will give you the interview session, mock, and resume building. So, just wanted to clarify on this because they are they are uh, giving any certificate. Three years means they are giving any certificate, like not certificate. They hmm. are like uh, training. Us like uh, you can uh, say in interview, you have three years of experience with uh, what they are teaching, and they will provide us uh, like projects and uh, resume building what you have to say in interview. All the roles and responsibilities, the resume building, the projects, everything, right? And the technical skills, everything I'll be briefing you up, right? In this training, right? Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Vijay. Just wanted to give you. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Fine. Uh, yes. Sir, uh, we can yes. we can join the ADB batch also now. Parallelly, it's from basic now. Yes, sir. If yes, I will yes, make the class of Saturday, yes. I can I join from Monday now. I will share the screenshot of payment. Yes, yes, you can attend uh, parallelly. So those people who wants to complete it, uh, uh, you want like fast track, right? So this uh, nearly it goes for three three and a half months. This course goes for three and because with a uh, lot of things we'll be discussing on this. So if anybody wants help. Uh, you can attend parallelly, right? The ADF and ADB, both you can go parallelly and go for the interviews. Yeah, it's from basic now. Ne? I will join from Sunday. Actually. If I miss the class of uh, Friday, Saturday. Yes, you can join. Once you got enrolled, you can attend, right? Once you have enrolled, right? For example, whenever I'm starting a Databricks uh, ADB batch, you can attend uh, as you got enrolled with AD, right? Yes. Yes, fine. So if I'm done with your queries, right? If there are no other queries, I will sign off for now. Meet you tomorrow, same time, 5 p.m., right? So thank you all for your time. Thank you. Meet you tomorrow. Right?